In this video, I'm going to show you how to wire an additional control using the expansion jack on the new block. All blocks now come with an expansion jack, and what the expansion jack lets you do is connect additional uh, analog controls to your uh, existing control surface um, to give you extra expressive controls and allow you really to customize your instrument. Uh, you can use it to add a whole array of controls, or you can just simply wire uh, additional things uh, or add things onto your controller. Um, here are just some basic examples of things you can use. Uh, here's just a regular slide pot. These are like the ones you'd find on an OM64. Uh, here's another one. This is a 30 millimeter slide pot. Actually, this is a 45 millimeter. Uh, here's a rotary pot, and here is a bend sensor. Uh, and you can wire all these up directly to the expansion jack and have additional uh, expressive controls. Uh, these two quarter inch jacks are for uh, Roland style expression pedals, so you can use a foot pedal. Um, you can also wire things directly into here if you wanted to. We'll cover that in a different tutorial. For this video, I am going to be wiring a uh, soft pot, which is basically a, a fader, but instead of moving something mechanical, you just touch it with your finger and it creates uh, resistance. Uh, the only two things you'll need for this are uh, a soft pot, which I got this one from SparkFun, and a ribbon cable. Um, the quarter inch jacks, obviously you plug a quarter inch uh, connector into, but this 10 pin header here, you just plug a 10 pin ribbon cable. And what it allows you to do is use um, eight of the pins for the signal and uh, two of the pins for the power and the ground. Uh, it might sound complex, but it's really, once you get into it, it's really, really super simple to use. Um, so what I've done here is I've taken my soft pot and I've wired the first, the red, the first wire on the uh, ribbon cable to the uh, ground of the pin out on the soft pot. I've wired the second to the power. Ground and power are always one and two. Um, on this, there's a 10 bin header. It allows you to have eight analog controls. Um, so one and two are always uh, ground and power, and then they're common for all eight connections. So the rest of them, the, the, from uh, three to ten, is your wiper or your signal for your um, analog control. And what I've done here is I've connected a 33k ohm resistor um, in between uh, ground and wiper. And that will, all, it's a pull-down resistor, so when I let go uh, of this, it doesn't uh, jump back to a value, it just stays at zero. Um, so if I start here, it'll be 127 or zero here. All right, so once you have your ribbon cable wired up, uh, you can see it's pretty simple. I've just run three wires. Uh, again, if you were going to connect additional controls, you would just use the same ground and power and run them to all ground and power. And then these additional um, seven would be uh, for your wiper. Um, I say seven because I've already used one here. So you're going to need to go ahead and plug it into your expansion jack. And then you're going to need to activate the port. Um, if you had all eight analogs open, you'd get feedback, uh, MIDI feedback. Um, so to avoid that, uh, we put dip switches in here. Um, so what I'm going to go ahead and do is just make sure that the one dip switch is in the up position, which it is. Um, I'm going to use a pen or something to get in there. And the rest of them, two to eight, are down. So this activates only one because only one connection connected. Now, the cool thing about these soft pots are they have these little rubber um, backings that are uh, have adhesive, adhesive on them. So you can just peel off the 3M paper backing. And what I'm going to do is go ahead and mount it onto the side of my controller. So, here we go. Now, there's an, basically an extra fader on the side of my controller. So, if I have my set running, uh, I can do stuff like this, like I can turn an effect on. And this allows me to, just by stroking the side of the controller, allows me uh, access to basically an additional knob. So this can be done again with any any pot, any any um, 
uh, most sensors I should say, not any, um, you'll want to consult our wiki uh, for further instruction and of course visit us on our forums uh, and we'd be more than happy to help you with your setup.